Welcome to the Culinary Fighter Podcast with your host, Phil Lo Greco. He'll be talking to world-class boxers, promoters, trainers, managers, and of course, the fans. The fans have a voice and it needs to be heard here on the Culinary Fighter Podcast. Culinary Fighter here, guys. I got a real treat for you guys today. You know what I mean? This guy, he's the influence of boxing. He's so influential. He's changed so many people's lives, so many fighters' lives. He's changed my life. None other than Sam Watson. Sam, welcome to Culinary Fighter. How you doing? What's going on, Phil? Glad you called me. I'm all glad. I'm glad to have you. Let's get into it right away. Zero to 100. Why aren't you in Saudi Arabia? Ruiz versus well, Joshua, the press Saudi conference. Arabia, Saudi Arabia. The fight, the press conference in Saudi, Saudi Arabia right now. And it caught me off guard. Everything happened so fast. They signed the fight last week, and it's on. I just talked to Anthony Joshua. They're down there right now doing their thing. Uh, it's going to be all right. I can't wait to get there for the fight, though. December, December 7th in Saudi Arabia. I'm going for that. I'll be with him the whole time. I believe in him. And I can't wait to see it happen again. So were you surprised that Andy Ruiz pulled the upset? Nope. I just knew that it was time. You get a t- you get a chance in life, an opportunity in life, like he got. Uh, and I just knew somebody somebody's gonna beat everybody. Somebody's gonna lose. Everybody's gonna lose one of these days. And Anthony Joshua waited around. He should have been fighting Deontay Wilder for the big one. That'd have been fantastic. But he didn't. But it's all good. It's big. Uh, uh, Andy, I knew Andy would win when I first got to New York. I was with Andy for like. A whole week in New York, and I just some, it was something about his vibes. He wasn't scared. He wasn't nervous. He wasn't nothing. He said, "I never been knocked down." Wow. He said, "I never been beat up." And he just uh, he did what he said he can do. I knew that from the beginning. The way he was acting, his whole attitude. But he now, had a different attitude. But let me ask you this now: from a fighter looking outside, as a fan, as an average fan, Andrews was a massive underdog, and it's kind of reminding people of you know when Buster Douglas fought Mike Tyson, he was a huge underdog and he won. But now let me ask you a silly question, but a real one. Does Andy Ruiz pull a Buster Douglas, or does Andy Ruiz continue and have a, good, a legacy in his career? Well, I believe Andy can do it again. Andy's, Andy's a great guy. He's not running around stupid. He's not in the streets. He's, not, he's married. He's a, he's a good man. He's eating uh, like he's myself. Got, <laughs> he got a great father. Him and his father get along perfect. And he's just a good guy all the way around. Andy's different. Andy's, and he lives way out there somewhere out by uh, uh, Palm Springs somewhere. But he just a, he's a winner, man. And I'm, I'm excited about that fight. I'm excited about December the seventh in Saudi Arabia, Arabia. And I just I just believe it's gonna be great. It's gonna be another great fight. And I believe Andy will do the same thing and knock him down, knock him down, beat him up again. I believe it. Right. Let's talk about the baddest man on the planet. We all know who he is. It's Deontay Wilder. I mean, this guy, everything he hits, he destroys. When's this fight going to happen with Ortiz? Is it already locked in or is it when the works? It's coming up next month in um, November, somewhere in November. I heard that. I don't know the date, but it's coming up. It's coming up between those two guys. The rematch. Deontay Wilder is, the, is, the, is just a, a, the hungriest fighter out there. I mean, he's... He's excited about every fight he fights, and everybody's trying to figure out how you gonna knock him out, how you gonna knock him down, because he does it every time, every time. Sam, you've been around in boxing all your life, right? There was in the yep. 70s, 80s, 90s. The heavyweight yep. division is it back like it was before, or does it still have to do? You know, is there is still is there still need work to be done? It is totally back with Andy Ruiz doing what he done, with uh, 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 Deontay Wilder doing what he does. I mean, it's just, it's back, man. It, it, it's totally back to me. You got some great heavyweight fighters out there. Uh, uh, it's, it's back. I mean, big fights, knockouts, knockdowns, everything you want, you can get now from a heavyweight fight. But let me ask you the real question. Forget about, obviously, you know, Deontay Wilder's going to fight uh, Ortiz, but the fans, Sam, and I'm speaking on behalf of the fans, they want to see Wilder Joshua. They want to see Wilder versus Tyson Fury again. They might want to see Wilder versus Ruiz. When are you going to give us those fights? Well, one at a time. The first fight is Deontay Wilder fighting against Ortiz. After that, sky's the limit. After Andy Ruiz fights um, uh, uh, Joshua, the sky's the limit for him too. Everybody's going to get it. 
Everybody can get fights, heavyweight fights now. There's no problem with nobody. I mean, and now the Andy's fighting. I mean, um, Josh was fighting Andy already. Now there's no reason he can't fight Deontay. Fury's gonna fight. Fury's fighting this week, next week. I'm gonna have there's him on no the show as well. No problem with Fury fighting Deontay Wilder if right. both when both fighters win. It's on, man. It's on. Everybody gonna fight everybody now. Right. So, which fighter? Which which fighter are you excited about the most outside of the the heavyweight division? Is there somebody that you got your eye on? Where he's like, wow, this guy, he's the next real deal, Holyfield type of type of thing, so to say. Deontay Wilder is the most is, 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 is the man. I mean, heavyweight. I mean, he's, he's done everything. He's, he's fought everybody. He knocked everybody down or out, really out. So yeah, he's the man. And we got we got we got Andy doing Andy doing his thing too. So we got it all, man. We we happy. I'm happy. I'm happy for our fighters. You know. Let's take it down now to the welterweight division. Obviously, I think you know where I'm getting at. I fought them both. Sean Porter, Earl Spence. The fight's gonna be at the end of September at the Staples Center. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, you fought you fought um Sean Porter when you were like 25 and old. Yes, you were there on the opposite fought, side. I remember. And then you fought. <laughs> Yeah, and then you fought um, Earl Spence on the last. You know, obviously we've seen Earl Spence. He's like the real deal Holyfield, baby. This guy just takes, you know, he doesn't take no prisoners. The fight with Sean Porter, him and Sean Porter at the Staples Center. I fought them both. You're going to be there for sure. What can fans expect on that fight? It's going to be a great fight. Sean Porter is a strong, big, strong guy. Earl Spence is a, is a super special guy. Sean fought all kind of people, and so was Earl Spence. So it's going to be uh, better than what everybody thinks it's going to be. It's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a great fight. Can these guys, can the winner face Pacquiao? I mean, you guys have Pacquiao as well. Pacquiao's part of the PPC family. What's what's up with yeah. Pacquiao's schedule? Pacquiao ready to fight anybody. Pacquiao ain't scared of nobody. He saw he fought Keith Thurman into a close fight, and he won. So Pacquiao's happy. Pacquiao wants to fight any of them. Pacquiao's here, for the, he's here to fight. And the last Before one, Sam. Retired. Yeah, um, go ahead. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. and the last question for you: Do you have, have you ever heard of Logan Paul and KSI? Do you know who these two gentlemen are? Yeah, they they do um they do that stuff from um they be on um Instagram. <laughs> YouTube, yeah, they're YouTube yeah. sensation. Now let me ask you yeah. this: Do you think this is good for boxing or bad for boxing? Eddie Hearn is getting involved as a promoter for this fight. What does this do for boxing? I don't know. It's, it's it's not real, but it's it's cool. They amateurs. They amateur fighters. I heard they're gonna try to make them fight pros, but you know it's good. But it's good for everything. Who cares? I don't care. I don't really care. Well, I, like, I know. I know. I, I know, think I you should care, Sam. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why you should care. Ask me why. Can you please ask me why? Why should you care? Why? There's the reason why. why. Because they have about 20 million freaking subscribers on YouTube of bo non-boxing audience. Now, can you imagine if out of the 20 million subscribers that they have, they even bring 5 new million eyeballs to the boxing world, to the real boxing world. Isn't that what we want? Yep. More fans, more subscribers, more yep. supporters. That's where, you, that's where you fit in at. You fit in. I'm glad you're doing what you're doing because you're doing a great job. With One thing about you and TV... And I and and pie, whatever they call it, whatever you're doing, that's what you should be doing. You should fight one Thank more you fight, for the compliment. maybe two more fights, but you should be doing this because you talk the talk. You the, the show you did about food, and walking around eating food, that was fantastic. And you see, you see where you're at right now. You know where you are. You got a baby now. You getting yourself together for for the future. First you thought it was. You thought it was all about boxing. Now it's all about everything you do. It's all about the family for sure. Well, definitely. Who knows? Maybe Fox is watching. Fox wants me on their broadcast for Earl Spence versus Sean Porter. The fight, probably one of the best fights of the year. It's all going to be live on pay-per-view Fox Sports. I'm probably going to be there. Sam's going to be there. Sam, it's always a pleasure talking to you. It's my pleasure always. Uh, I'm going to be calling you more often to give you some uh, to hear some updates from you. If that's all right. Yeah, you're, my, you're my main man, Phil. 